Hey guys, welcome back. So, y'all see that highlight? Is it on fleek? Um, I am actually going to be including in this tutorial. <laughs> yes! I'm so excited. Um, this is a pat. Pat McGrath Labs, and um, I bought both of them. In this tutorial, I specifically use um, the 003, no, the Nude, I'm sorry, the Nude. And I have all three products on today. Um, and yeah, I will let you guys know what my thoughts are on this. Right now, it is 6.22 a.m., and I have to get my butt to work. So with that being said, I'll report back to you guys after my shift and I will let you guys know how this held up, what my thoughts are, um, and then yeah, keep you guys posted. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely be doing a video where I am showing you both products, both colors. Cause oh, right now it just made my morning. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right guys, so we are going to start by priming our face and I'm using this Hourglass Primer in Luminous Light. And I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and I really love this primer. I feel like it does give my skin like a glow from within um, finish. It's so beautiful, it's very light and it definitely does keep your makeup on and in place so definitely recommend this to you lovely ladies and gentlemen and i'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie and this is max match master in the shade 4.0 and i really love this foundation um, it's a medium to full coverage and i'm using a mac foundation brush um, this is just an angled stippling brush but as you guys can see it gives you like instant coverage um, this stuff is amazing. So you're getting medium to full coverage. It's buildable and it's meant to just kind of blend in. But look at all that breakout, guys. I started wearing something um, in my hair to just kind of help make it healthier and it jacked me up. I have breakouts on my forehead, on the sides of my face, which is how we figured out that that's what was breaking mama out. But check out those pimples. Um, now we are going to move on and I'm taking this MAC um, corrector and highlighter duo and I'm taking the peach shade and I'm just going to lightly run that under my under eyes and this is going to help correct any darkness and it's also going to just kind of brighten everything up a little bit. I'm taking the same foundation brush and I'm just pressing that onto my under eye area and then um, I like to just run everything um, through with this foundation brush just in general I just feel like it just helps blend everything out. And I'm going to be using this uh, I'm sorry, concealer by Corez. I bought this on Hot Look recently, and it's in the shade Light Medium. Let me tell you guys, this stuff is amazing. I have been loving it. I've probably had it for about a week now, and for a week straight I've been using it. Um, I didn't realize how much I liked it until I found myself trying to find it so that I could wear it. But as you guys can see, it goes on really smoothly. It definitely brightens and it stays in place, which is what's really impressive. I've been using the Pro Longwear again, and this one is by far my favorite right now, and I feel like it really does help also hydrate under the eye, so definitely recommend it. I'm gonna set everything with my Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder. I'm using this, matte, I'm sorry, NARS brush, and I'm just doing a light dusting of this all over just to set everything in place, but let's be honest. I want it to go a little bit heavier so you guys will see that I switch everything over after I do just a very thin light dusting of this. Um, lately I have been baking my entire face with my MAC 133 brush and my Laura Mercier uh, Universal Setting Powder. That's what you guys are going to see. This brush is amazing for packing on powder. So what I've been doing is I go a little heavier around my eyes and my T-zone because I tend to be oily in my T-zone. and this does not enhance any dryness or any fine lines. Um, I have lines under my eyes, always have, and I don't feel like this powder enhances any of it, but this brush is just amazing. So what you guys are seeing is that I'm packing this stuff really heavy. There it is. Look at that T-zone. And I'm going to let it sit for 
just a few seconds, probably like a minute or two actually, and this has been keeping on my makeup all day. The reason why I started doing this was because I started to feel like my makeup was wearing off fast, which isn't normal for me at all. But this technique, guys, I swear that makeup ain't going nowhere. All right, now that I look crazy, um, we are going to move on. And I'm just looking for a large powder brush, and I like to use a Real Techniques powder brush. It's huge, and it really just removes the powder on without moving any makeup or without leaving any additional powder on. I found that some brushes will actually leave little um, pieces, not pieces, but uh, residue of the powder left, and so it'll look patchy, but this one just removes it and really blends everything out. So, of course, you guys know that I always use my Tarte Lash Primer, and that's what we're using now. I'm going to do a few coats of this, and then we will move on. I'm going to be using Casino, Casino, Casino Bronzer by NARS. This one is just a little too dark for me right now, but I did want to go for something a little bit more dramatic, and I'm using my NARS Eater Brush. And I am going to just contour my face a little bit, but as you guys can tell, it's definitely a little bit deeper. I bought this probably like two or three years ago, and it was my summer shade. But let's be honest, we don't hold on to our tan, and I use Laguna most of the time. I'm taking my Eda brush, and I'm just chiseling out my double chin. Um, we're hiding it. I'm contouring my chin just a little bit, and as you guys can see, a little bit of this goes a long way, and there it is. Adios, double chin. Nobody loves you. So I'm blending out um, just what I did. I'm going to be taking this um, Sephora blush. I really, really love this color. It's just beautiful. It's very soft. It's almost like orgasm without the shimmer or the sheen. Um, this is by Sephora, and it's um, something flirt, flat out flirt, I think. And now we're moving on to the star of the show. We are going to be using Pat McGrath's um, highlighter in Nude. And I'm going to start with the balm. So that's basically it comes with this little book. And in the book it tells you that you should start with the balm. And I'm just going to lightly tap that onto the high points of my face. And look at that. Already you guys can see it. It's so pretty. It's very soft and very natural. So this is supposed to be like your runway um, glossy highlight. And it doesn't feel glossy on the skin. On your hands, you'll feel that it melts away, and um, you know when you really push it into the skin, you don't even notice that it's a gloss, right? It's so beautiful. It's very lightweight. I love it. Yeah, love it. And we're gonna do the other side with that. Now I'm going to just add a little bit. Um, I added a little bit to the bridge of my nose, and there was that was the only point really where I noticed that it was a gloss like I could see my foundation separate so I do not recommend you using the balm on your nose just strictly keep it to your cheekbones the cupid bow is fine but my nose I really noticed it just kind of separated a little bit but love that glow so now we're moving on to the actual like highlight part and this is a really beautiful champagne color and again with my finger I'm just going to pat that right over the spots where I place the balm. So doing this on top of the balm is supposed to give you more of an intense highlight. And to be honest with you, you can't see the difference, but that it's a huge difference. No, it's, you know, I really thought that by adding this on top of the gloss, it was gonna be like, bing, look at this highlight. But it's, it's so very soft. And I think that I was really surprised by how soft these highlighters were. I, I was really expecting it to be like super intense or um, very like editorial high end. So again I'm taking my foundation brush and I'm just lightly buffing that out just to keep everything really seamless and blended. As you guys can see it's just a very beautiful soft highlight and again I'm taking my blush brush and I'm just blending over the highlight a little bit so that everything looks very softly blended and not choppy. And now what I thought would be like the highlight of the year. Um, this is the powder highlight that comes in the set and it's just this beautiful like pinky pearlescent shade and that's the brush 
and you're supposed to put that again on top of the places that you added the cream and the balm and I felt like you could really see it like you could see it on top of the product it wasn't very smooth and it's again it's not something that is very obvious it's still a very soft pretty highlight nonetheless and I'm just taking my blush brush and I'm just running that over the highlight just to make sure that it looks soft and blended since I applied the highlighter right above my blush I just want to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and looks seamless okay so I'm using Lancome Hypnose Drama and for my lips I used Nothing But Nude Lip Liner by Sephora and also Kat Von D Bow and Arrow so I'm just going to apply several coats of my mascara and this is the final look guys um, I hope you really enjoyed this and we'll see how this highlight lasts so stay tuned for your update okay guys so it is now six o'clock and the last time um, you guys saw my mug was this morning so I still have on the highlighter this is the nude and it's definitely visible um, what I will tell you guys is that I was expecting it to be more pow like I really thought that it was gonna be super intense but it's not um, you guys can see it it's very pretty it's soft um, definitely not what I expected I will tell you guys though it does hold up really well um, the only thing is I did the gloss in the center of my nose I wouldn't do that again I feel like it kind of disrupted my foundation um, especially after my powder so I definitely would not do the balm yeah the glossy balm on the nose you could however do um, the actual highlighter balm part um, and I do I like it I'm gonna do a video no I'm gonna show you guys now actually I'm gonna take a few minutes to take my makeup off do my foundation again and we're gonna put that gold mofo on just to see what it's like so I will be right back okay guys I'm back and I opened the gold one this one is called golden um, so the first one was nude now we're going in with golden and let me just show you guys what it looks like this is really pretty you guys see that gold mm, love it and then you have the gold highlighter the balm which is the same color as the other one and then the brush so all I did was I just reapplied my foundation and we're gonna get this show rolling what I will tell you guys is when I applied the first one the pink one it picks up my foundation so I didn't know how I felt about that but we're gonna start off with the balm again this is so it comes with a little book and the little book says start off with the balm this is supposed to give you that really editorial glow you guys have seen this and voila i i really like the balm actually believe it or not i like the way that it looks it just looks very fresh and dewy and natural I'm not gonna do my nose almost did and then I'm just going to take whatever's on my fingers and just run it under my brow. So the reason why I'm not using this directly onto my face is because it's a balm and it melts easily. That's my foundation. And um, it's just going to mess with my foundation. It's going to remove it. I mean, it's a balm. So already you guys can see there's a glow. I like it. Okay. Now, the next thing it says that you should do is take the actual highlighter part and these are twists, so you, you literally twist it. And I'm just going to use the same fingers and I'm going to take the gold. I think for this, I, I rather just use my finger than a brush. Oh yeah. You see the difference? This is a glow, but it's just more subtle. And then look at this. Mmm, mama likey. 
so far I feel like the golden is definitely more intense radiant not in a bad way um, it's very pretty I feel like with the other one the nude it was a little too soft for me again I wasn't really expecting for something you know to look really intense and bright but I mean it's pretty but this Mm hmm love it now this I can take on my nose <laughs> I love this very pretty and it's very easy to blend this does not feel sticky at all it feels almost like it just sets into your makeup it's not moving my makeup at all oh I can see myself going ham with the gold gonna be trouble okay so now that we have that on and just again quick view I'm going to do this side last so that you guys can just kind of compare and see what it looks like when you build it up now we're gonna go in with this it's like a dual chrome gold it looks like it has mm, like a yellow blue iridescence okay Mm hmm yeah this one's definitely more obvious than the other one than the nude the golden is more pronounced yeah and I'm definitely gonna go ham with this <laughs> okay You're, you definitely do get glow from both, but let me see if I can get this light. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. I'm trying to, to give you guys the, um, yeah, you can definitely, I mean, again, you're getting glow. This color is it does stand out I feel like it does stand out more you do I have to be careful with this because on my skin it almost looks like I'm bruised oh but look at that mama likey good highlight yeah I definitely have to go easy you can't really pick up because of the lights you really can't pick up how pigmented it is but it's pigmented so I'm going to just take my bronze no I'm gonna use blush actually I'm just gonna take a little bit of blush this is poised by Mac and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit because I can't be walking around looking jacked come on you can definitely layer it with other product because it, it you can still see the glow coming through these are pretty and that's what we're gonna do because mama's gonna lay low-key tonight I have a gig tomorrow so let me tell you guys what I think um, I think that they're very pretty. I think the concept is pretty cool because you're getting a balm, you're getting um, a highlight, and you're getting a powder highlight and a brush. These retail for $76, which may seem like a lot. You're probably going like, ooh, that's a lot of money. But think about all the product that you're getting. You're getting the balm, the highlight, the powder, and a brush. Like, let's be honest. Typically, a brush is easily $76. So. With that being said, I think it's a great deal. Plus, let's be honest, who doesn't like to get glitter sequenced in the mail? Come on, it's sequenced, like glitter sequenced, really? Who doesn't like to get sequins and sparkly, shiny packaging in the mail? I know I do. Um, I like 
the concepts. I like that you're getting um, a lot of options, versatility, um, texture, and and I think that for someone that is just playing with highlight and is starting to really um, explore the concept and, and the technique, it's awesome because you're getting the best of everything. You're getting your creams, you're getting your, um, maybe even cream to powder because that, the actual pigment, not the balm, but the actual highlight does set, you know, it doesn't look like I have like gloss on my face. And then you get the powder and then awesome brush. So it's a great deal. Now, I think where I feel like it falls a little short I think it's gotten a lot of hype and I think that um, with the, the video trailer that they um, released, I had really high hopes that this was going to be like, bing, you can see me from far. I didn't think it was going to be this natural, honestly. But that's also a pro because I like that it is a little bit more wearable. I feel like I'll get more use out of it this way than I would um, if it was more intense. So I will tell you guys, I mean, it is really pretty. And it's wearable and soft. Who doesn't like that? I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. Um, I think that if you're medium to dark, um, you can definitely benefit from the golden i think that it just complements our skin better um i feel like the nude would be great for someone that is light to light medium um just because it stands out more on me the nude looked pinky so i think i'm going to use that more as a like a blush topper but i can definitely use a highlight the sticks um to highlight my face and then the powder i'm going to use that to just kind of be a blush topper um it is a very nice product. It's definitely great quality. Um, and I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I just feel like with the trailer and, you know, the video and everything, I really felt like, damn, this is really going to be super different. It's going to be really intense. Um, I wish that the balm would have been like you're more natural. Then you can build it up with... Um, the, the actual highlight to get just, you know, a little bit more of like that pow that I was looking for. And then, you know, that the powder would really ump, ump, vamp up um, the actual highlight. But it didn't. I You know, I mean, it, it definitely makes it stand out a little bit more. And, and you can see um, the yellow. And it's a pretty soft highlight. I was just hoping that it would be like, mm. um, but I like the product. I have nothing bad to say about the product. It wore all day and it stayed in place. Every time I looked, I was like, oh yeah, I can see it. It looks good. Um, and you guys saw that it was still on my under my brow. So it's it's definitely a great product. I think that you, if you are looking to build your highlight collection go for it i think that if you're a makeup junkie and you and you're really excited about how beautiful it is do it um and if you're somebody that's kind of like you know i want to highlight but i don't want it to be crazy do it so as you guys can see i'm giving you my approval i'm telling you go do it get it it's amazing it's back on sephora.com and i hope this was helpful let me know if you guys have any questions and i will talk to you soon Bye. Mwah.